laughing. I can't laugh. Thanks, guys. They just said <laughs> they just said that you are their favorite. Oh. Richard and Eden. And Richard is talking about some colder temps, and we have a dish that's perfect for those colder temps. Well, you know, it's a it's a wonderful Mediterranean cauliflower and mushroom soup. So in essence, as the temperature changes. Soup's on, Mark. That's that's what we're gonna say right Soup here. is always on, but it's even more appreciated when it's cold outside. Ah, yeah, that that warming. It's, it's like that becomes my sweater, <laughs> right? And I feel good. All right, so look, we have a, 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 some equipment here today. We have an immersion blender. So you're gonna or a stick blender or a boat motor if you're in Middleburg or whatnot. You got a battery <laughs> in there. You just plug that bad boy in and take your flat bottom canoe and go down Black Creek. Boom, with that thing right there. Um, <laughs> it'll move you around to those hard to reach spots, ladies and gentlemen. So you're gonna put it in here. Okay. I want you to hold it like this, right? With your thumb back yes. here. Okay. Right, because your triggers are right there. And um, you're gonna slowly, you're gonna angle it a little bit. Like this? Not too much. Okay. And you're gonna hit go. Okay. And uh, all right, there you go. So you're now pureeing the soup. We could do this in a blender if we wanted to, but this is a much safer piece of equipment as a blender creates sure. pressure and can come off and get you. But let's talk about how this started. We put a little oil in the pan. We put our cauliflower florets in with our garlic, cooked it till it was brown. That took about 15 minutes. Took a little bit of the cauliflower out, went right in with our mushrooms, our yellow onion, started cooking that down. We added um, some paprika, ground cumin, and some turmeric to it, right? There's our Mediterranean flair, but we were reaching that through these spices that we're adding. A little bit of salt. Once that browns up, we add the cauliflower back to it, hit it with some vegetable stock, let that simmer, and then we have a uh, Pacific. Um, it's up here somewhere. There it is, right there, little box. It's a concentrated cream of mushroom soup. So we're gonna get a little bit more cream. Stack up on top of one of those uh, cauliflowers right there. Oh. Yeah, don't yet. Yeah. Stop running it, and then push down with it. On the there you go. Yes. Now push down. Oh there yeah. There we go. Now start to chop. See, you notice I step back, right? Yes. I do not wish to be yellow today. Oompa Loompa is not my color. So. Now, there. this smells delicious, and obviously you just described all the ingredients in there. So overall, what kind of flavor will this have? Will this have a little bit of a kick to it? Will it um, just be... No seasoned? kick. It's just going to have like that cumin flavor. Yeah. And paprika, right? A lot of people say paprika doesn't have flavor. It really does. The goal with this soup, though, is, you know, I like to come here and hang out with you, hang out with Rance, Richard on the occasion. But, you know, today I really brought some fun guys to the table <laughs> that I know we're going to have a good time with when we get down to eating, okay? This is delicious. I'm and then now you should be able to just kind of buzz it up a little bit more. And just go through there. Yeah, and you buzz it till it's your preference on puree, okay? Yeah. You can take it as thin as you want. You can go all French on it and shove it through a chinois, which is a fine metal strainer. Or you can leave the chunkiness in it. Um, and, and have texture as well. So now, I'm, I'm good either way. We're to switch it up a little bit. And you were saying, you know, another route you could do is like a blender or something like that. Yes. What benefits are you getting from using this? You don't... Safety. Safety. Safety number one. So think about when you put something hot in a blender right. and you try to put your hand on the lid. Yeah. If you overfill that and hit go, you're not going to stop it from coming out. And then you risk being burned. This eliminates that, all right? You we're taking the blade and we're actually putting it in and submerging it into what's going on. And then we can control how we're going to blend that up and we don't end up getting... Right. right. And then I also like, too, that you have the ability to actually go to different vegetables and just blend it right there on the fly. Because right. even with the blender, sometimes it just swirls it and then you put it in its chunky in certain right. areas. So you can so concentrate. And this is a cool one. This one's got five speeds. I don't know what speed is it. Oh, let's turn it, uh, let's turn it up, Chris. There you go. Ready? You know, that's my <laughs> oh, he's a rap song. So we can go speeds. Yeah. So this is actually has five attachment to it, five speeds. This is the, the big Mac Daddy one that we have at the cooking school. And how long altogether do we want to cook this up for? You're going to cook this uh, for a total of about 25 to 30 minutes oh, is wow. what it's okay. going to take. So, yeah. you know, soups take, uh, soups take a little time to develop. You want the flavors to really come together and, and things to get soft, especially if you want to puree them up. So it's, it's about developing the flavor. And mushrooms come with a lot of flavor. That umami, right, that's that sixth taste sense that's out there. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, I, I was doing some research about taste scents, and there's a new taste that they, that they think they want to add to uh, make it number seven. What's that? It's called fat. <laughs> I kid you not. Fat is a, they're trying to make it a taste sense now because different fats carry different sure. flavor. That Think about sense. lamb fat, yeah. duck fat, chicken fat, beef fat, turkey fat. Right. Tom, People Tom, just, right? they like it together, <laughs> and they're just like, it's just gaming. But yes. No, that they do have a unique flavor. Now, this recipe will be on newsforjacks.com slash recipes. Now, one of the things before we started, 
you said we don't have spoons. We have something else to try. Oh, this. we're going to go old school today. We're going to go sand and sandals. We're going to break bread right over the table here. So, I mean, uh, I got, oh, there's a little piece for me. All right. I got a piece for myself. Oh, dip it. Oh, make, oh, man. You can tell I'm a Southern because I don't want to dip. I want to sop, right? I want to make sure that bread is good. And, oh, it's going to be hot now. Blow it real nice. It is it's boiling. <laughs> All right, <laughs> news for Jack Sock. It's like I'm blowing recipe. kisses. Get the recipe there. We'll be back right after this. I'm going to see if you burn yourself first. Mm. You're good? Well, no, that's good. I'm going to, hold on. Cautious here. Mm-hmm, mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, right? Oh, come on with those flavors, man. I got you. That is delicious. Mm -hmm. Stick around. More to come right after this.